Okay. I'd like to call the meeting to order at 7.30. Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Knotts. Here. Mr. Petsalis. Here. Cram here. Mr. Simons. Here. here. Mr. Boda, Mr. Horn, and Mr. Blackstock are excused. Okay, thank you. Um, Ralph, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Certainly. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, next, we have the approval of the agenda. If there's no additions or deletions to the agenda, a motion to approve as presented. I'll support um, the, to approve the agenda as presented. Okay. Is there any further discussion? So we got to second it? Or I, I can second. D second, all right. All right. Um, if there's no further discussions, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to approval of the minutes of March 7th, 2016. If there's no additions or deletions, I move that we approve the minutes of March 7th as presented. I'll support. Okay, it's been moved in support of that we approve the minutes. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, we have public comment. Uh, seeing as though there's nobody in the audience, I guess there's no public comment. Moving on to the consent agenda, we have the C1, which is March 2, 2016 Historical Commission Minutes. We have C2, is the February 4th, 2016 Beautification Committee Minutes. C3 is the February 2016 St. Clair Fire Report. C4 is the February 2016 Investment Income Report. And C5 is the February 2016 Revenue and Expenditure Report. I have several questions. Mm -hmm. yeah, the bills, uh, second page. Wait, our revenue bills. and expenditure bills are bills. Not, bill, we're not on bills yet. That's the next. We're on the one. consent agenda. We're on consent. Yeah, isn't part of the bills? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Checks. Okay. Revenue expenditure report. You're right. Got my junk out of order. I thought I had one comment in here. Page 16-20. In the sewer department, under 495-596-57301, uh, we have a $850,000 replacement project under, what I'm wondering is if we intend to transfer any funds into the capital projects fund, we got, how, how are we gonna show, I mean, there's, of course, there's, obviously there's not as enough, maybe this is something you just need to look into. There's there's not enough money in the practical projects fund to cover that, because it gives you a big deficit. So we have to transfer some stuff in there, and I'm wondering if we should start showing it up in the revenues, some of the decisions that you, we've made as to what how, as to how we're gonna cover. What line were you on, 495 Page 16-20. Department 9, 590, Sewer Department. RBC Replacement Project, mm -hmm. 850 grand. Correct. That fund does not have sufficient revenues to cover that project, but we have made agreements to how we are going to do that. I'm wondering if we shouldn't start showing up in the revenues how we are oh. planning to transfer, how we are planning on the cover. I'm that funding that 850, deficit. okay. Yeah, how are you gonna plan? I, I know we've got it down, but it doesn't. This report looks kind of bad, but that's not really true. I guess is what I'm getting at. Okay. I, I mean, wonder if it's because they haven't actually spent it yet. It's just a budget line item, and they haven't spent any of that money. Yeah, like but that? it still shows. But it still shows that we've budgeted a seven hundred fifty thousand deficit, and that uh, that's not a good idea. I think when the Michigan folks look at them. Okay, I'll look at that tomorrow with. Uh, okay, Clarice. I have no other comment. I have a question, um, and Ralph, you probably know the answer to this too. Um, on eighteen twenty, our sewer comes to zero. I mean, the sales and the expenditures, and on twenty twenty, our water authority that comes to zero. Does that? I mean, are we where we should be then on our water and sewer department? Our rates right now. 
Uh, you're looking at the part where it says original budget. Um, well, on, on 1820, it's uh, it says sewer water authority, the revenues and the expenditures. And they're both at 752, 350, so it comes but, out to a zero. But that's the that's the original budget, and it set up that way. You always budget for that was revenues and expenditures being exactly the same in a, in a uh, uh, what they call it fund. Fund balance. To the, the type of fund we're using. It's a, uh, it, I forgot the name of it, but it has to go to zero every year. Okay. And so the budget will always start out at zero. What you want to look at is the year-to-date balance to see where you're at. Year-to-date balance. The next column over. Next column over. Zero. How much we've spent of it. Okay. It shows how much we've gotten into po this point, how much we've spent to that point, and whether we're ahead or behind. Okay. So 127, 115. Uh, enterprise funds, that's the word I was looking for. Enterprise funds have to have budget and expenditures balance. That's how you, you start out that way. That's, okay. why, that's why we sometimes have uh, amendments in order because we got to keep up with that. Okay. Yeah, the one you want to always look at. the end of the year. Yeah, the one you always want to look at, uh, uh, Angelo, is that year-to-date balance to see that we are. Okay, so that's one yeah, we're not getting behind. So both of them we're not getting behind now. Okay, yeah. that's the only question I had. <laughs> okay. Any further discussions on the um, consent agenda? If there is no further discussion, I'll make a motion that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Support. It's been moved and supported that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to disbursements. We have bills of $538,278.18. We have a payroll of $22,229.22. We have ACH payments of $12,618.81. We have a tax account of $10,000. $337.78 for a total disbursement of $583,463.99. I have a few questions concerning the bills. Shall I proceed? Yeah. Okay, so just waiting for the boss to say I yeah. can go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just All right. getting my file here. All right. Let's go right through it. Page 2-5, which is the second one down in the, in the stack. Right in the middle of the page, I just don't know what that is. Michigan to State Disbursement Unit for uh, Jay Corbett for $119.43. It appears four times in the bills. And I'm just wondering, what is that? It's the same amount every time. I'm guessing that he maybe is putting money into a specific. Well, like a piece of his check, he's putting it into an account. Yeah, that's that, Josh Corbett. Yeah. Okay. That I, Thank you. That's, that's the guess off the top of my head looking at it because yeah. it, it's the well, same it's, amount every time, and it happens just it, like up above the MESP where you see him again where it's the same yeah, dates. It's and the, the same amount, but it's a date. But it's going and, someplace else. And they're a week apart. Okay, gotcha. All right. Next page. Uh, in the big group at the bottom, there's one that says Polaris Surveying, replace boundary marker, 3445 St. Clair Street. Why do we have to pay for that? Um, our DPW has supposedly dug it up. <laughs> That's a good answer. Okay. Uh, right above there is, uh, uh, no, I'll get to come back. I want to come back to that one. Uh, So uh, next page, uh, page 4-5, dun, 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 dun. down near, the, well, there's Corbett again, but I know what that is now. Down near the bottom, about fifth one up from the bottom, St. Clair Chamber of Commerce, Historical Commission membership uh, dues, $85. Now, I read that in the uh, Historical Commission minutes, and it brought me up this question. We approve these bills in a package like once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Are the checks set out before we approve them, or do these checks all In prepared? some cases, they are. 
Are all these checks all prepared and are not sent out until, because what's the use of us? <laughs> anyway, this particular Historic one, I thought, trust. since that particular board is just an appointed board, unlike the Park Commission, they don't have authority to spend township money. That should, doesn't that have to come before this board to be approved? I agree, yes. And has the check already been sent out? I don't know. I'll find out. Anyway, I was wondering if you might want to look at, while we can continue using the same procedure we've been using, and maybe the checks ought to be held until uh, uh, the board approves approves them. In, you know, but the well, it, I go along with that, and I agree with that, but as long as we don't encounter any penalties. Well, yeah, I think that came up once before years back. Like our Edison where, bill? Or? Where you had a bill that, if you didn't pay it in 30 days, it got 20% higher. And I can certainly agree with those being uh, sent out and reported to the board at a later date. But I, those are, are the exception, exception, not the rule. And we meet every two weeks, so I can't see where. Okay, but anyway, I was, let me, I, let that's me the one, that. that one just brought it to my attention because I thought that should have come before. I agree that maybe the, the beautification committee uh, historic committee would like to join this, but that's something that should have been brought to the board for approval. They, they don't have authority to spend township money without approval of the board. Thanks, Bill. Okay, and the, the last thing, there was, I just noticed in it, there's a bill for street lights, and I'm wondering, have, have we ever had anybody look in? To, to do an LEDs? To do an LEDs, like I just saw St. Port Huron spending a ton of money changing everything, but they get it all back in three years. And we just did it in the fire department at the at the fire hall, and the first billing we've seen a savings. So, yeah, I think it'll be a large expenditure, but I can get a hold of uh, that Ron Kress and see if he would. Uh, yeah, I don't. You know, we got quite there. a few street lights, but you know, if it cuts the bill in half, it doesn't take long okay. to pay uh, pay for for LEDs. <clears throat> I have nothing further. Okay. Anybody else have anything on the bills? If not, a motion to pay the bills would be in order. I'll make a motion that we pay the bills as presented in the amount of $583,463.99. I'll support. It's been moved and supported that we pay the bills in the total of $583,463.99. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, roll call please. Mr. Pitsalis? Yes. Mr. Nats? Yes. Cram? Yes. Mr. Simons? Yes. We pay the bills. Motion carries. Uh, moving on to new business. We have a social media policy. I don't, have you all had a chance to look at it? Yes. Uh, we have Arr, gag you with the spoon. This was brought to us by our insurance company. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Written uh, by a bunch of lawyers over a Several beers. They're asking us, and this is a sample that we had of the social media policy. I have a couple of comments. You know, I understand we, in order to meet the insurance requirements, we're probably going to have to have a policy. This is probably as good as any, but there's things in here that I think specific to our township that we ought to take a, better, take a look at. And one of them is going right down is number F. I don't know what we have to do, but occasionally our uh, staff may be required to look something up on the computer. Giving a complete prohibition to be able to do that means they got to come in and ask you every time they want to do that. That I think that could be rewritten to give them uh, uh, necessary access for township business. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one of my objections. Well, it does say for personal and or private use, not for township use. We're on the... You know, if they're instructed, if they have to look up something that has to do with the township... Yeah, you're right. Scratch that one. Then. Maybe. Maybe that. How about, down num how about number I? H-I? I may want to put your picture on my Facebook. At home. But we don't, yeah, at home, home you can do it. No, it does say no, that. does can. say that. 
You can't post photos of the coworkers or members of the general public on their personal, personal social, social media, media sites. sites. Now, on the, if you want to put in there from the township, on, from township hardware or something like that, but I don't see us prohibiting them doing stuff at home. The personal. That's, that's what caught my attention. They're limiting the way I can use my computer at home for the township policy. I don't think so. Okay. Or any member of the general public. I couldn't even put my son's picture on my Facebook. Well, in the first beginning there, it talks about contractors and... Um I did not think I was any good at all. Well, if you read the, the, the cover page, there are three bullets on there, you know. <coughs> the one is talking about the Little League. If they if they practice on our property, we should have their liability insurance. Yeah. That's I, a good the, point. I agree with that. I think no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, this, there we're are, just... There are some good things in there. I just pointed out a couple I think we might want to revise. I would drop I altogether. And then there's R. Typing on my computer at home. I'm talking to my my brother. Yeah, I, work, I got township meeting tonight. Can't do that. I'm just. It needs to be. Look, I think that needs to be looked at. It's like I. My little comment beside it is that it's overly broad. Other than that, the rest of us pretty much. Lawyerese and boilerplate, so, so I would, you have trouble I don't object with to it. Too. I don't object to it. You gotta watch it. It's it's so easy to just. But ban we don't everything. want people taking pictures of of towns, you know, in the sewer plant or the water plant, or or people and putting them on social media. I mean, that's. If I take a picture of this sledding hill and put it on social media, according to this, I can't do that. Right, unless you have permission from this board. So anybody that's in this park ever taking pictures, it happens to get Well, yeah, but they're not our employees <laughs> or our contractors, and I think that's what it's talking about. Okay. I mean, we can't control the general public. I mean, if they go in the park and take a picture of their family over there, I mean, it's that's not, I don't think, what we're talking about. So if our employees got to be real careful if they've got their families over in the park, right? Have what? Our employees have to be really careful if they take the, our, their families over to the park and take any pictures. It, yeah, it's just overly broad, you know. I mean, we don't have to adopt it. I mean, they're suggesting we adopt it. Uh, what it does if we don't, I don't know. No, it might raise our rates. Oh, we can we can adopt it, but just eliminate a couple of things like yeah. that. <laughs> well, so we can eliminate R and eliminate I. Yeah. Or F, yeah. Anyway, I think we should look at that. All right, we before can we look adopt, at those. Before uh, we adopt, adopt I and R. Yeah. And I'll go along with the other one. You, you kind of talked me out of that. And I can call this guy in the front of why they're saying we should do it. They sent us a sample about the, the uh, policy. This um, white combos. All right, we can. Why don't we just table this and then we'll. Um... Well, yeah, because the first two bullets don't have anything to do with the policy that we're, right. we're discussing. The, Those are two different bullet. things right. that right. we need to also discuss. So. Well, the, yeah, well, the thing on the agenda tonight is just the social media policy. I'm assuming other stuff's being taken care of. Yeah, we can do this. I think internally. Yeah, administration is taking care of that. Our policies can be changed yeah. with when these when these people come to rent our uh, facilities or use our facilities. And this is another one of those things where if you're, they come in to do an insurance inspection, they've got to find something. All right. So we're tabling the social media till we... Well, unless you want to approve it with a... But I think we should have something in there under... You know, like, like Ralph says, uh, an I, you know, we could have it uh, from township computers or township 
electronics or hardware, or wherever, however you want to say it. Yeah, you know, just exactly what they say there, uh, using using township equipment. Right. You no, know, it wouldn't be too bad. The other one, I don't know about. I just. Why wouldn't we want our employees to identify themselves as an employee of East China Township? Yeah. Why is that bad? Well, if the, I think it, the example was given to me, if there's a somebody out there, and I'm not on Facebook or none of that stuff, so you're probably talking to the wrong person, but if somebody was to put something out there about the township, and then one of our employees was to start in a conversation on the Facebook saying that isn't so, that isn't so, that isn't so, then you got two people talking on there that they're not really the spokesman for the township. I mean, this board is the spokesman for the township, not our employees. Right. And we don't want that going on. That's how it was a, one of the examples that was explained to me. And I think we've had some of that in the past already. Because um, this is a big animal, the social media. I mean, uh, I don't know. Are you on it that much, Angela? No, I'm not no, no. Uh, you're probably on it, do you? No, you're absolutely not. Do you want it much, Ralph? Only on Facebook. I got a family Facebook page, so yeah. I got... And since so I got, I, since wanna, I got a lot of family, it's gotten pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever you want to do with this, I mean, if you want to add to that I, and uh, I can have it added to there, and then we can look at that R again and do it at the next meeting. I, I think R needs to be rewritten. If you want to put it in like what you were talking about, you know, they shall not identify themselves to discuss, as, township, as township employees with authority to, with authority to discuss township business without your approval. And I think we should call the insurance guy, call uh, this Mike guy up and just say, this is what we, can we change it to this? And I'm sure he'd give you an idea to say, we're not comfortable with the wording that's in there right now. Right. Okay. I well, can yeah, because this is just a sample. Right. To, you yeah, know, so we can tweak to. it. Exactly. Say, so we're not comfortable with it. How about if we add this? He might say, that's fine. That's good. Well, this is actually from the Michigan Township. Well, the insurance company participating plan. Okay, well, I'll move that we table the social media policy uh, until we get the answers to uh, check out the and possible I can changes to the, to the wording, particularly in I and R. I'll support. Is there, we have a motion to uh, table this and a support. Is there any further discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, moving on to township announcements. The township offices would be closed March 22nd, 25th, uh, 2016 for Good Friday. Um, basically, that's all I have. Uh, member comments, uh, Mr. Pasalis. Um I know we talked about last time, are we going to um, get other bids for our garbage uh, removal? Are we going to? Yep. We are going to do that? Okay. Uh, they told me to kind of wait a little bit. So I'm okay. Gonna, I just, the bid is up in uh, June 30th. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Steve? I'm all good. Ralph? I have nothing further. Thank you. Um, I don't have a whole lot other than that everybody enjoy uh, their Good Friday holiday and Easter coming up. Uh, I don't think we'll have another meeting before Easter. So happy Easter to everyone. And with that, I guess a motion to adjourn would be in order. I'll make a motion that we adjourn at 7.54. Support. We have a motion to adjourn at 7.54. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned. <laughs>